What does it mean to live a moral life? When we talk about morality, and when we talk about justice, we have to understand that there is no justice when so few have so much and so many have so little. There is no justice when the top one-tenth of one percent owns almost as much wealth as the bottom 90 percent. Millions of people are working long hours for abysmally low wages, working hard, but unable to bring in enough money to adequately feed their kids. There is no justice when the United States of America has the highest rate of childhood poverty of any major country on earth. How can we talk about morality, about justice, when we turn our backs on the children of our country? We have in this country sufficient amounts of money to put more people in jail than any other country on earth. But apparently, we do not have enough money to provide jobs and education to our young people. We are the only major country on earth that does not guarantee health care to all people as a right. All of God's children, the poor, the wretched, they have a right to go to a doctor when they are sick. I want you to think of what this great country can be. We can be a nation which joins other nations around the world in guaranteeing health care to all people as a right. We can be a nation in which working parents can get quality, affordable childcare. We can be a nation in which every American, regardless of his or her income, can get a college education. We can be a nation in which every senior lives out their lives in dignity and security. We can be a nation in where everyone, no matter their race, their religion, their disability or their sexual orientation, realizes the full promise of equality that is our birthright as Americans. Brothers and sisters, this is the nation we can create when we stand together and not let people divide us. The history of America and the fight for human dignity is a history of struggle. They struggled because they said, I am a human being. I have rights. You can't do that to me. I need dignity. And unions were formed, and people fought, and people died, and people were beaten, and people went to jail. When millions of people stand up and fight, they win.